Hey YouTube, the real cat gone crazy here with a tips video on the Catch the UFO special stages in Sonic Mania. In this, you have to catch up with UFO there on a racetrack that's very similar to the Mega CD games, uh, so that you can get a Chaos Emerald. This is the only way to get the emeralds. And there are two things that it lets you collect. One of those is rings. Every ring adds one second to your time. When the timer reaches zero, then you're propelled out of the special stage and to find another ring. And the other is blue spheres. Now these blue spheres don't seem to do anything to start with, but you'll find that they actually increase your speed at different Mach levels. So first you start on Mach 1, then you go up to Mach 2. Mach 2 is slightly faster than UFO catcher as you can see here, but Mach 3 is what you really need to catch it. And after that it's all bonuses, you can't actually go any faster than Mach 3. So I would advise going for the blue spheres to start with, and every time you see um, an easy group of rings to collect, or if your rings are getting low, then go and get some of the rings that are scattered around the um, But otherwise you want to get your speed up first. Now, in the second uh, special stage here, you'll notice that there are actually different routes. The UFO always tends to take the shortest route around the level. Um, Sonic here has gone to the left instead so that he can get the blue spheres. Uh, because it's all about getting the speed up. Once you've got your speed up, then take the shortest route you can and catch the UFO in the quickest time possible. You'll also have noticed that there are some item boxes above the level, above the track. Every time you hit one of them by jumping into it, it propels Sonic a little into the air. And what they've done is put some in sequence, so if you get the angle right, you can actually hop up from the first one to the second in sequence. That's really cool. In terms of the angles, I would advise using a D-pad rather than the analog stick to do these just because it's either left or right and it's very definite. It's a very digital game, it's very retro, very old school in its design, so it doesn't hurt at all to use the old style controls. Uh, it's a bit like Mario Kart or F-Zero in that uh, the flat sort of Mode 7 style graphics here of the track uh, do have bumpers in them. So you have to look and see where the bumpers are, here the left and right is red so that means bumpers but when they're not there, you will actually fall off, and that does mean exiting the level. So that's very good. So you can't jump over them, even though Sonic is above them in what would be actuality, um, they still apply. There's still the invisible walls above all the red walls that you can't jump over. So try and stick to the track. You'll notice here that this is Chemical Plant Zone Act 1, and that was from Sonic 2. So if you notice, jumping into the wall there would get you that ring. And then jumping up here, and this is the start of Act 2 from the Mega Drive, and when you jump through to where the extra life would be, you get another ring. So that's two easy rings in Chemical Plant. There's one very easy one to get in Green Hill Act 1 as well. So if you're having difficulty getting all the emeralds because you're finding these stages too hard, my advice would actually be to do what I did by accident, and that is finish the game without getting them all, and then load up the cleared game save starting from Green Hill, and have a go at these easy first few rings to find you'll find that it does save the emeralds you've got, so you'll be able to get all of the emeralds over a few goes. So by the time you get to Chemical Plant Act 2, uh, and you might think it's a bit harder now to find all the gold rings to actually get into the special stages, then you can exit the game and reload it again, starting at the beginning, so that you can just go straight in and get the rings. It's easy that way. Any other tips? Well, uh, obviously when there are circles of blue spheres going around, go with the side that's coming towards you because you'll collect more. Um, if you get hit, it doesn't matter too much in terms of speed, so sometimes you'll find you have to just to stay on the track. That's okay, you want to stay on the track above all else because if you fall out, it's game over. So don't worry too much about getting hit and losing rings, as long as you work out how to get them. Uh, easy ways are these ramps here, if you hit the ramps and go up in the air, uh, also those item boxes that I told you about, then you should find it's actually not too bad. So again, go for the blue spheres to start with, top up with rings as you go, then choose the shortest route to catch the UFO. You just need to get within striking distance and the game will take over and actually collect it for you. So that's it then, thanks very much for watching, I'll leave you with the fourth special stage here. I'm not going to do them all uh, because all of these tips apply and I don't want to do a complete run through of the game just yet because it's so brand new I think you should discover it for yourself. But these tips should stand you in good stead to actually get the Chaos Emeralds so that you can become supersonic and do the supersonic glitch <laughs> that I've done in the other video that I posted today. Thanks very much for watching, please hit like and subscribe if you like this channel, and I'll be back with more Sonic Mania content soon, hopefully Sonic Forces as well, so I'll see you then. Thanks very much.